Welcome back, art enthusiasts. Today, we're going to step into the world of a unique artist whose works were a deep exploration of the mystical and the unseen. His name was Jean Delville, and his journey, his inspiration, and his profound impact on the symbolist movement is a tale as fascinating as the art he produced. But first, please subscribe to my channel not to miss many new interesting videos. Born on a chilly winter's day on the 19th of January, 1867, in the Belgian city of Leuven, Delville was an exceptional talent. His mother was Barb Libert. Delville never knew his real father. He bore his mother's surname until she married a Leuven official, Victor Delville. A prodigy, one might say, as he found himself studying at the Academy Royale de Beaux-Arts in Brussels when he was only 12. His work, even at that tender age, had an incredible ability to capture emotion and nuance, a unique talent that distinguished him among his peers. As he matured, Delville found himself drawn to symbolism in the late 1880s. This was an artistic movement that sought to depict the intangible, the spiritual, and the mystical elements of life. It was an exploration of dreams, the mind, and the spirit. Delville was captivated by this perspective on art and life, and he immersed himself in it, producing stunning works that unveiled the hidden layers of the human psyche. One such masterpiece that embodies Delville's approach to symbolism is The Treasures of Satan. This painting is a testament to Delville's ability to use his art to delve into the core of human struggle, portrayed against a backdrop of opulence and excess. The major literary work created by Delville, Dialogue entre nous. Argumentation cabalistique, occultiste, idealist is devoted to the propaganda of mysticism and occultism. Delville wasn't just an artist. He was also a seeker, a man drawn towards the unknown, the spiritual, and the mystical. His passion for theosophy and the occult is well documented, and this fascination was powerfully expressed through his paintings. His works like The School of Plato and The Love of Souls are profound explorations of spiritual themes. The Love of Souls, for instance, is Delville's artistic interpretation of transcendental love. Here, he portrays two beings ascending into the divine, their physical forms dissolving in a radiant, sublime light. This artwork symbolizes Delville's spiritual inclinations and his belief in the transcendence of the human soul. During his time as a professor at the Glasgow School of Art, Delville's influence extended beyond his own work. He molded and shaped a generation of artists, instilling in them his passion for symbolist ideals and concepts. His teachings and philosophies deeply impacted his students and further perpetuated the symbolist movement. The opinions of Delville amongst his contemporaries were mixed. Some admired his unique style and deep dive into the spiritual and mystical aspects of life. Others, however, viewed his work as obscure and too abstract. Regardless of these varied perceptions, Delville continued to express his profound beliefs and ideas through his art. In 1892, Delville organizes, with the symbolists Emile Fabry and Xavier Mallory, the art group Circle Pour l'Art. In 1887-88, he met the famous occultist Paladin in Paris and collaborated with him until 1895. In 1892, influenced by Paladin, Delville created the Salon de l'Art Idealist. Between 1892 and 1895, he puts on his own exhibitions at Paladin's Salon Rosa, plus Crest. At the end of the 1890s he enters and in 1910 becomes secretary of the Edyar Theosophical Society. The Vision of the World, or La Vision, is one of Jean Delville's most famous works and a striking expression of his symbolist style. This painting is an excellent example of how Delville used his art to depict the mystical and the spiritual, 
exploring the connections between the visible and the invisible. It must be understood that the symbolists, including Delville, sought to portray ideas and emotions that were difficult or impossible to put into words. Their works often remained multivalent, with elements open to interpretation. Vision of the world is a figure of an angel surrounded by creatures from mythology and religion. The central figure looks out at the viewer, and her hands spread a light that seems to illuminate all the other elements of the painting. This may indicate spiritual power or divine intervention. Around the angel are various creatures and scenes that seem to represent different aspects of life and death, divine and human, good and evil. These elements represent the complex interaction of different forces in the world, and perhaps also the desire for harmony and unity. The image of an angel spreading light to all the other elements of the painting may symbolize enlightenment, spiritual guidance, or divine love. This angel appears to be a bridge between heaven and earth, between the divine and the human. Thus, we can assume that Delville, in his painting The Vision of the World, sought to show the idea of spiritual unity and harmony, which he saw as the key to understanding the world. This work of art invites us to reflect on the connections between the visible and the invisible, between man and the divine. However, like any other symbolist work of art, the vision of the world provides the viewer with space for his own interpretation and reflection. The Angel of Splendor or Lang du Splendor, written in 1894, is another of Jean Delville's outstanding works imbued with spiritualism and symbolism. The Angel of Splendor is more than just an angel. In Delville's mystical symbolism he represents the divine intellect or cosmic consciousness. This union represents a transcendent state in which the polarities of male and female, good and evil, physical and spiritual merge into one. Through this work, Delville sought to portray the transformative power of spiritual awakening. The glow is not just physical brightness it symbolizes enlightenment or spiritual illumination. For Delville, art was a means of spiritual communication, and the Angel of Splendor serves to embody this belief. In his later years, Delville's work evolved and matured, but his passion for mysticism and spirituality remained the same. He left behind a legacy of stunning works, each a window into the unseen realms of the human psyche and spirit. Through his art, Delville invites us to look beyond the visible, to question, and to explore. And that's the story of Jean Delville, an artist, a mystic, and a fascinating figure in the realm of symbolism. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. See you soon.